Hey guys, welcome back to the inventory tutorial part 2. And uh, in this tutorial, uh, we are going to uh, keep writing. And yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, but I did notice the error. It We have flash.event.event .event, uh, on the first line, and it needs to be import flash.events.event. .event. So it should be import flash dot event with an s dot capitalized event just like that okay so now uh, let's go back to our function in it which stands for initiate uh, so I'll just put comment initiate just so I don't have to keep saying init to you guys and I'll be like comment initiate yeah anyways uh, so we're gonna set m level dot text to 10 uh, you can set it to anything you want um, this is just setting the M and H level uh, to look as it's 10, you know. Uh, so now that we have both the H and the M level set, uh, we're good to go. So uh, next, we're going to want to set a variable, and this variable is going to call be called B. Um, I do use a lot of random letters when I'm doing variables. I try not to get them mixed up, so I start like a string of them, and then I go to random ones, but. Anyways, so this variable b is going to equal to 0. And we're going to do uh, for variable i equals to 0. Um, until variable i is less than 16, um, and each time it repeats, it'll go up 1. So i equals 0, i equals 1, i equals 2, all the way up to 15, because we have less than 15, 16. Uh, we're going to declare a, another variable. And this variable is going to be called inv, which is for inventory. And it's going to be equal to an inv slot, uh, which will uh, equal a new inv slot. And once again, it's just calling the class inv slot from over here when we uh, created our inv slot uh, symbol, which we exported for the class as inv slot. Um, so we're going to set that variable, and then we're going to want to finally push our uh, slots list. So we're going to do slots dot push in. I'm sorry, in is just a hard word to say for me. I can't just, I can say inventory, but I can't say in. Like it sounds like, I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is, so when we push a an array, which our slots is an array, it means like, so if we have three arrays, if we have one, two, and three, it'll create the next one, which is four. Um, but uh, arrays start at zero, so it'd be zero, one, two, and then three. Anyway, so now that we have that pushed, uh, we'll take i, because we're creating new ones, so the first one, it'll be pushed as, you know, zero, then one, etc. And so we're going to take uh, slots i, which will mean slots zero, which is the one we just created. And it'll be setting the visibility false. And now, uh, this next part isn't necessarily necessary, but I'm going to set the visible to true for now, just because we don't want, we want to see what it looks like, you know. Uh, this next part is uh, totally voluntary. If you want to do this, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. But I'm just going to make two lines for mine. So I'm going to do if on two lines, so like there's eight on one line and then it goes to eight on the next line. So I'm just going to say if i is greater than or equal to eight, uh, it's going to do array, or sorry, slots i dot x is going to be equal to 510 minus 45. And minus 45 because, uh, remember, our, um, we have our Sorry, I can't think of it. Our thing, <laughs> our thing, um, I don't remember what it's called, but our point is at the top. Oh well, can't remember it. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. You should know. This thing, the thing that tells us where it is, it says at the top for the inventory slots. So minus 45, because that's the size of our uh, inventory, sorry. Uh, so then slots i dot y is going to be equal to 
uh, we'll make it 45.5, so it's just a little bigger. Uh, and we're going to multiply that by B, which we created up here, which is right now set to 0. Uh, t multiplied by B plus 15. And you'll see what that looks like in a minute. But we're going to do else, so it's less than 8 right now. We're just going to copy this. And it's going to be the exact same. Oops. And it's going to be the exact same, but instead of times B, it'll be times I. And it won't be minus 45. So it'll be here instead of minus 45, which is right here, basically. So... Uh, what we oops, what we want to do is uh, we're gonna give uh, our thing some parameters basically. So we're gonna set our list oops our slots i and dot id equal to i, which right now is zero. So our first one will be called zero, then one, then you know etc. And then we're gonna do slots i again dot used. And that's going to be equal to false. And, yeah. So now that we have this, uh, we should be able to test it, and it'll work. Now, it's not creating them, as you can see. And that's probably because of some simple mistake, or it's just because we don't have them showing up right. Oh, because we're not calling the function yet. Duh. Okay, so uh, we're not called. We haven't called the function in it yet, so it won't actually initiate all of this yet. It won't create anything yet. So now, so we, if we want it to actually call that function, just at the very end of everything, we're going to type i n i t, which will initiate it. So now, if we test it, it still won't work, and that's not what we want to happen. <laughs> Oops, what's happening? Uh, let's, I'm just making it bigger so I can see if, you know, it's there somewhere. Okay, so, uh, let me pause it and take a look really quick. Okay, duh, I know what I did. Uh, what I did, what we didn't do yet, we didn't add the child. And that means we didn't add it to the stage. So now if we did add child, and it's called INV, so if we add this child, it should work. Perfect. So now, as you can see, they're all aligned. We have two rows, and it looks perfect. But we don't want this here, you know. We want it. We want this on the inventory page. So now we'll just delete add child, right? Yeah, perfect. Uh, we're also gonna need to set that visible to false, just so we don't have any mistakes. We just, you know, to be safe. You know, I'm not positive 100% if we need this, but I'd say we need it just to be safe. Uh, I'm not sure what would happen if we didn't have it, but go ahead, test it, and let me know. You know. Uh, so now that we have all of this done, uh, we can go to, I guess, making the uh, inventory. So uh, for the inventory, we're going to want to do case. Uh, this is our key pressed function, by the way, and we're on the next case. So after the keyboard dot down break, uh, we're going to do case keyboard dot. Actually, no. We're going to do case, uh, I believe the code for i is 73, so we'll just type case 73, so that means they hit i, and we're going to do if menu open, and then we're going to want to call the function uh, close inventory, which or just close inv, and uh, also before that we're going to do want to do menu open, and set that to false. And if you remember, we created menu open earlier up here. So right now it's false, so the menu, you know, isn't open. So this wouldn't work. So now if we do else, uh, we can set menu open to true. And we can open the inventory. Um, and you'll notice that I use uh, inventory and the menu, uh, inventory, the inventory menu and menu quite interchangeably. But... They're, they're the same thing for me. So when you open the inventory, you're opening the menu. Uh, next, what we want to do is create the two functions for opening the inventory and opening the or closing the inventory. Um, first, we're, we'll worry about the uh, opening of the inventory. So
So if uh, we'll first we're going to want to create the function, of course, called open inventory. So function open inv, just like that. And we're going to want to add the child menu one. And if you remember, we created that uh, object, if you will, uh, earlier. Uh, menu one menu, which just takes this, the big menu screen kind of we made. Um, so we'll add that. And uh, we're going to want to make, uh, well, we'll do that in a little. But uh, we're going to do for each and then variable inv in uh, slots. So for each um, slot we have, for each inventory uh, slot that we have, it'll create the variable inv and it'll run this one time for each one. We're gonna want to add, so we're gonna want to add that child. Uh, so we're gonna add inv, and uh, we're gonna want to set that to visible. So inv dot visible equals true, and we're gonna set that child index uh, for inv to num children minus one. So puts it on top like if we didn't have that uh, the menu would be on top um, which we don't want so we, we want to put the inventories on top so now if we test that uh, we have a problem of course we always have a problem we're already 50 lines in guys so you know there's only 300 lines I'm just letting you guys know but oh so we don't have a function close inventory yet so let's just create that function really quick and we don't have to put anything close inv so we just have that blank function and now let's try it. So let's hit I and then we get a menu showing up. Perfect! Except it looks kind of off. Uh, now to fix that uh, we are going to have to go into the menu and so just double click the little gear next to menu and we do need to set the align for that to the um, top left just like that. So the little plus is at the very top and to the left of the box. So now if we test it and we hit I, um, it works. But as you can see, it doesn't look quite the way we want it. So to achieve it perfectly, like I want, um, you'll have to come here and where you see X is 0, change that to X is 10. And Y is 0, change that to y is 10. So now, because uh, this is 20, um, the height is 20 smaller and the width is 20 smaller than the stage, so we made it half of that. So uh, it'll be 10 on this side, 10 on the other side, and 10 on the top, 10 on the bottom. So now if we test it, it should look perfect. Perfect. And look, we can still move our character and see our character in the bottom, or not the bottom, but under it. Uh, and also, we do need to change the health and mana colors um, because it's the same color as the background. So, just change that. So now, if we look at it, uh, it looks good. Let's also change these colors. Let's just make it black for old time's sake. There we go. Now it looks nice. So now if we test it, we hit I, you can see through, and you can still see your health, mana, and your character moving. Um, so next up, uh, we're going to keep working on our um, initiate uh, function, and this time in initiate, uh, we're going to want to uh, do our objects. So we want to create all of our objects. Uh, now to do this, just go back up to your initiate function, um, find the end of the fo four, and I'm just going to collapse that for now. So, oops. ah, to, uh, just so you know, to collapse, you just select all that you want to collapse and hit the little minus button. And now that's our four. I'm just going to add a comment here so we don't forget what this is, and this is going to be creating our inventory slots. Perfect. So now, you know, we've compressed that a lot so it'll be easier to see what we do. And I'm going to do the same thing for our 
uh, key priced. So I just made it. Oops, that didn't work. Uh, so I'm just making. Oh, and also key 73. We need to break that. I just noticed we didn't break it. So K73 at the very end, just add a break and make that smaller and and I'm just gonna comment that our key checks. And you know it just makes it a lot easier. So now I can scroll up and scroll down a lot quicker. And it still says we have 73 lines, so we don't forget how many lines we have. Uh, so next we're gonna create our next four. So this is gonna be uh, for variable J, which comes after I, that's why I chose J equals zero and then j uh, less than ten and then we're going to increase j substantially well not substantially but gradually uh, and then we're going to create a new variable called object or just obj and this is going to equal if so and I'll show you what this means in a second so if j is less than five it'll be new mana Otherwise, it'll be new health. And basically, what we just did here, we made an if statement. I know it doesn't look like it at all, but we made an if statement. And basically, we did. So if these two, if uh, this parameter, or, you know, if this um, is true, then it'll execute right after the question mark. And if it's false, right after the semi, right after the colon, that's what it'll show. So if j is less than 5, then it, the object is going to be a new mana. But if j is more than 5, the object is going to be a new health, which, again, we created in our library called mana, and the class is mana, and called health, and the class was health. So that just makes it a little easier for creating mana and health. Uh, we're going to want to add that child, and it's going to be called object. I'm not going to get too uh, specific on where we put them in stuff, so, um, you know. And we're going to push the objects uh, array, just like we did before. And uh, we're going to push it with obj, or object. And uh, we're going to set objects, uh, j, uh, dot id, and that's going to equal j, just like we did before. So basically we can just copy and paste it. Um, but we're going to want to copy this var object thing, just part of it, just uh, the if statement basically. And we're going to do objects j dot type equals, and then paste it. And instead of new mana, we're just going to make it a string, and it's, the string is going to be called mana. And same for health. So it should look just like this. And then we're going to set the um, x and y to 200, and then the y to, uh, let's do 30 times j. This will kind of um, distribute them a little. And we're going to do objects j dot moving equals false. And we're going to use type id and moving later, so that's when we'll worry about them. Now if we test it, you can see, uh, we see the items, and they look like health and mana potions. Um, but so now uh, in the next tutorial we'll want to make them so when they touch, it'll put them in the inventory. So uh, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think about these tutorials. You know, give me ideas for new Flash tutorials, because, you know, I'm kind of getting back into Flash, and I'm planning on making a whole, like, RPG series or something like that. But, um, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.